Good evening, and welcome to Evening Prayer for Wednesday in Holy Week, April 13th, 2022, from St. Margaret's Episcopal Church in Palm Desert, California. I'm Jim Duke. Joining me this evening is Robin Nugent. Good evening, Robin. Good evening, Jim. Good evening, everyone. We have included a link to the service booklet for tonight's Evening Prayer in both the Facebook and YouTube channel posts. If you have the Book of Common Prayer, Evening prayer begins on page 115, and you can always access the Book of Common Prayer online at bcponline.org. Your presence is indeed a blessing, and we invite you to join where the worship is indicated in bold. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Let us say responsibly by whole verse, Psalm 74. O God, why have you utterly cast us off? Why is your wrath so hot against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation that you purchased long ago, the tribe you redeemed to be your inheritance and Mount Zion where you dwell. Turn your steps toward the endless ruins. The enemy has laid waste everything in your sanctuary. Your adversaries roared in your holy place. They set up their banners as tokens of victory. They were like men coming up with axes to a grove of trees. They broke down all your carved work with hatchets and hammers. They set fire to your holy place. They defiled the dwelling place of your name and raised it to the ground. They said to themselves, let us destroy them altogether. They burned down all the meeting places of God in the land. There are no signs for us to see. There is no prophet left. There is not one among us who knows how long. How long, O oh God, will your adversary scoff? Will the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you draw back your hand? Why is your right hand hidden in your bosom? Yet God is my king from ancient times, victorious in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your might and shattered the heads of the dragons upon the waters. You crushed the heads of Leviathan and gave him to the people of the desert for food. You split open spring and torrent. You dried up ever flowing rivers. Yours is the day, yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Remember, O oh Lord, how the enemy scoffed how a foolish people despised your name. Do not hand over the life of your dove to the wild beasts 
Never forget the lives of the poor. Look upon your covenant. The dark places of the earth are haunts of violence. Let not the oppressed turn away ashamed. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, O God, maintain your cause. Remember how fools revile, revile you all day long. Forget not the clamor of your adversaries, the unending tumult of those who rise up against you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Mark. Then he began to speak to them in parables. A man planted a, vine, a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a pit for the wine press, and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to tenants and went to another country. When the season came, he sent a slave to the tenants to collect from them his share of the produce of the vineyard. But they seized him and beat him and sent him away empty handed. And again, he sent another slave to them. This one they beat over the head and insulted. Then he sent another and that one they killed. And so it was with many others. Some they beat and others they killed. He had still one other, a beloved son. Finally, he sent him to them, saying, they will respect my son. But those tenants said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they seized him, killed him, and threw them him out of the vineyard. What then will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come and destroy the tenants and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read this scripture? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is amazing in our eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And maintain us, sustain us with your Holy Spirit.
Lord God, whose blessed son, our savior, gave his body to be whipped and his face to be spit upon. Give us grace to accept joyfully the sufferings of the present time, confident of the glory that shall be revealed. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray now for our own needs and those of others. Almighty God, in giving us dominion over things on earth, you made us fellow workers in your creation. Give us wisdom and reverence so to use the resources of nature that no one may suffer from our abuse of them and that generations yet to come may continue to praise you for your bounty. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to, him we, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. We'd like to thank you for joining us this evening would like to extend some multiple invitations to you to join us for in-person worship this Holy Week. Uh, join us in person tomorrow at 6 p.m. for our Monday Thursday worship uh, at noon on Friday for the Good Friday Liturgy. And after that service, our Daughters of the King will be leading the Stations of the Cross at 1 p.m. That's a wonderful service. If you can only attend one thing on Good Friday, you know, attend them both. But that's a very wonderful service. If you'd like to experience the Great Easter Vigil, we are doing that in conjunction with the Church of St. Paul and Desert in Palm Springs. It will be in Palm Springs on Saturday evening. And if you want to join us on Easter Sunday, those services are at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Bring the whole family. There's an Easter egg hunt after the 10 a.m. service. And if you're not able to join us in person, the 10 a.m. service on Sunday will be live streamed. We'll also have uh, on Facebook and YouTube. We'll also have a service of Compline on Sunday, Easter Sunday. And we'll be back here next Wednesday for a service of morning prayer. For myself and Robin and everybody at St. Margaret's, thank you once again for being here. Good night.